currently boarding rows 20 through 32. I can't believe I have to make this video, y'all. So, there was a 30-year-old man that got mad at me, cried, and blocked me on TikTok because I was trying to prove a point about Twitch bit rates and stuff. Now, Twitch, as advertised on their encoding website, stream.twitch.tv, saying that the max bit rate for 1080p 60 frames per second for an affiliate is 6,000 fra frames per second. But that's not the limit. And people say that if you go over, it's going to say unstable stream. But I'm going to show you all today that it is actually not unstable. It just says that in your software. Stick around to the end because there's a lot of explaining to do. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, Cody here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I actually don't have a script, so I'm like freestyling this. I just got home from my trip back from North Carolina, so happy New Year's, everyone. So, I got into an argument with someone on TikTok saying that Twitch doesn't have a cap for the bitrate, in which I'm sort of right and sort of wrong. Now, Twitch does recommend meant 6,000 kilobits per second for 1080p streaming, but it is not the limit. You can actually go higher, you can go up to 8,000 when you're not even partnered, but it says unstable stream, but it's not unstable, trust me. So I stream, and I'm a, I'm an affiliate on Twitch, I stream at 900p with a 7,900 bit rate. A 7,900 bit rate. A 7,900 bit rate for 900p. Now that's just because I have a really bad GPU encoder for my stream encoder. So I stream at a higher bit rate, but majority of the time I get transcoding. Now, how do you get transcoding? So on Twitch's website, there's three ways to get transcoding. One, gotta be a Twitch partner. Two, gotta be a Twitch affiliate. Three, just gotta stream on Twitch. It's that simple. Now, partners get it always. So if you, so if I start up a stream right now as a Twitch partner, I would have transcoding 100% of the time. Now, as an affiliate, you can get it sometimes, but sometimes you won't be able to get it. Now, that's the part where they say that 6,000 kilobits per second bit rate is the limit, y'all. It's not the limit. Trust me, it is not the limits now the reason why they say it's the limit is because well let's rewind let's say me I'm I'm a viewer on twitch hi I'm a viewer all right so I'm sitting down on my computer and I want to watch my favorite coder TTV twitch stream so I stream at a 7900 bit rate if I didn't have transcoding and let's say I had a Let's say I had a six, a six megabit download. It's pretty slow. Now my stream would be buffering and buffering and buffering and buffering, and it would just make the experience not good. Now majority of people have over six megabit per second download speed. Continue on to my next part. So transcoding, pretty much what transcoding does, it takes your 1080p quality or however your quality you stream at, divides into 720p, 480p, 360p, 240p, and 144p. Capiche? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, good. So if you have transcoding, then they could downscale their resolutions. That's why if you watch Twitch partner, 
Twitch partner streams, you're most likely to get a non-buffering stream. Now, as an affiliate, if you stream 1080p with an 8,000 bit rates, you're gonna be buffering a lot on mobile from experience. Now, if you're buffering a lot on mobile and you don't have transcoding, that's the part where Twitch says 6,000 kilobits is the limit. But it's not, y'all. I stream at a 7,900 bit rate. I'll even do a streaming test later. So pretty much, let's let's let's, let's do a recap. Twitch recommends 6,000 kilobits per second. It's not the limit. If you go over 6,000 kilobits, it says it's unstable, but it's in reality, it's not unstable. I just made a pyramid. Now, being realistic, you probably shouldn't stream at an 8,000 bit rate, but if you're streaming 1080p, the minimum bit rate for 1080p 60 is 8,000 kilobits per second. You know what I'm saying? All right, so 8,000 kilobits per second, 1080p. Let's debunk another myth. 1080p locked for partners. Ha, 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 ha. False. I can stream 1080p whenever I want, however I want, but do I want to? No. You all know why? Because my GPU can't handle it, okay? CPU encoding for 1080p. Okay, I probably just threw y'all off. I probably just threw y'all off right there. A lot of technical things, and I'm already, gosh, six minutes. All right, so let's rewind, rewind. YouTube rewind. Okay, that was not a good joke. I'm, I apologize for that. So, transcoding, let's have the transcoding section, the bitrate section, and the resolution. Now, on Twitch, you get transcoding this is good you want this we want this we need this if we want a high resolution and a high bit rate if we don't have this we can't have this and we can't have good of this so what i'm trying to say is the cap is not eight as the cap is not six thousand kilobits per second now people tell me that if you stream at eight thousand kilobits per second to twitch they'll downscale it to six thousand kilobits per second wrong i will test out right now like i will test like i like i will end the recording right now and test it for y'all all right let's go do that what's up so lighting might be fucked up right now okay you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna record from my pc i'm just gonna record from my phone so that's why the audio kind of sounds fucked but here's how i'm gonna do the setup so i got a just a youtube video right here then i got connected to the t obs to go to the twitch channel let me turn this off got it connected to obs will that will connect to the test channel uh run the test from here now here are my obs settings i'm going to be running 8,000 bit rates cp uh usage preset very fast don't really want it shooting up my cpu temperatures before stream tonight you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna save this all right so this is preset and y'all can just see my stuff. By the way, I got Go XLR for Christmas. I might do a review on that soon. But on topic, I'm gonna show y'all that I can stream 8,000 bit rate to here without it losing quality, without it being throttled down to 6,000 kilobits per second too. Just like how all the Twitch websites say. All right, so I hit start streaming. So y'all can see right here, that's playing, that's playing down here. Do you see it's around 8,000 bit rate? Oh look, what is this show? You see this? Wait, let it focus. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Okay, let's go down. Oh, there's some buffering. Video stats, 8,700. So what's that around, 800? This is not this is not affiliate too. You see one person watching. Task manager will do this too. We'll go, oh gosh. Okay, where is the cursor? Oh, there, here it is. We'll go into performance. What's this? What's this, y'all? Eight that uh, that looks like eight megabits per second. I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, I don't see it at six uh, uh, megabits per second. Let's look at here. Oh look, eight megabits per second. Uh, drop down to six. And what's that? Around eight megabits per second too. So now y'all see it for yourselves. So what does this tell y'all? Well, first, it tells y'all to suck my. D okay. Second, I have the proof right here. I just showed y'all. I mean, if y'all still can't comprehend your mind around the whole fact, then maybe you need to go to mental hospital or something. I just showed the proof that you could stream 8,000 bit rate 1080p to a non-partnered channel. Okay? That, was there any drop frames? Well, besides the buffering at first, because my CPU was pinned at 100%. But was there any buffering, really? 
No, there wasn't really any buffering. There wasn't any dropped frames. The stream didn't seem unsta unstable either. So I wonder what the culprit might be, y'all. It might be false information. Thank you all for watching my TED Talk today. We'll see y'all in another episode. Actually, wait, let me do a professional outro. I would like to end this video with a statement. Just because I am 14 years old doesn't mean I'm an idiot. I know how to do my research. I know how to do my own experiment. Now, I don't like the fact how older people are saying or believing wait, how do i explain this i don't like the fact how older people are trying to m influence me trying to make me think something that i know is not true i knew from the start that it was going to work completely fine because i've done this before now nobody has believed me because probably either i'm 14 years old or they haven't seen the proof it could be both or it could be none now i have the proof and here y'all go thank y'all for watching Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. Subscribe, you, subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification if y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's very technical, but you know what I'm saying? Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok too because I want to post more TikToks about streaming stuff. So follow me on TikTok and we'll see you some other time. Goodbye.